I was actually born in Dallas, Texas, but um, my parents, we moved to uh, um, Boise and then Utah, and then I actually grew up in Las Vegas. And um, my parents took me to see The Nutcracker when I was eight years old, and I loved it. I so wanted to be Clara. I just thought, oh, that looks like so much fun. And I remember twirling like you see the little girls today um, in, the, in the aisles as we were leaving. And, um, my sister and I begged my mom to get us into ballet classes, and so she did. Worked really hard. I got to be a ginger snap, the little ones that come out of Mother Bombonaire's skirt. And then I got to be a party child. The following year after that, I got to be Clara, and I loved it. It was so much fun, and um, I was like, you know, I think I want to be the Sugar Plum Fairy now. And um, I knew that required a lot more work, so um, that's when I decided, okay, I'm going to do this seriously and see how far I can go. And so um, my mom uh, I went to, uh, sent me to the Herod Conservatory in Boca Raton, Florida, and we would go to a regular high school um, and get our education, our high school education, because that was important. And then um, we would come home and dance all day. And I got to be the Sugar Plum Fairy there, and then um, after that I decided, okay, well now I want to go be the Sugar Plum Fairy in a big company. So here I am. <laughs> Now that I have a family uh, with children, I think the hard thing is sometimes the hours that I have to put into it. Um, I don't always get to tuck my kids into bed at night. Before when we used to have performances, you, have, you, just, you are in that mode. From like the week before you have your show, that's all you can think about is, oh, I have my show and everything has to be perfect. And, um, you know, and then the, you have your show and it's great experience. And then the curtain comes down and you're still thinking about your show, you're on this high. But for me now, um, I don't have time to think about, uh, obsess so much about it. Uh, I do that in the studio, but then, when I, but then I have my children that I have to take care of. And um, the minute, and I, and I love performing, uh, I think way more now after I've had children even, because I appreciate it so much more. Um, but the minute the curtain comes down, it's like, okay, now I'm a mom. So I gotta get out of here as fast as possible, get my makeup off, get home, make sure everybody's taken care of. Um, so, you know, but I find that, I, I love that. Um, I think too for me, performing is the best thing um, about being about my job. When I had my children, it was almost like a performance for me. You know, it's so exciting, and you get to meet this new life, and you've created this, and um, you know, just like on stage, you work so hard. It's almost like each role that you do becomes your baby, and uh, you work so hard, and you're creating this, and you're trying to make the best thing you know possible. And then you have the performance, and then at the end of the performance, the curtain comes down, and a week later, it's over. Um, but I think for me, the great thing about having my children is the performance never ends. It's continued, you know, and it'll continue on forever. This is something that I've created that, you know, will always be with me. So for that, I, I, I love that <laughs> about being a mom. I love being on stage. I think that there's just a, a high that comes with that. Um, you know, you work so hard in the studio, and there's definitely days in the studio where you're like, oh, this is such a hard job, I can't do that step, or, you know, how gratified am I in, in this rehearsal? But once you get on stage, to me, it's all worth it. Um, it's just fun to have that freedom. You don't have somebody in the front of the room correcting every little thing you do. You know, you have an audience that you know, claps for everything that you, you know, is very appreciative. Um, I just find freedom and I, I, you know, for me, sometimes being able to express my emotions in front of people staring at me is hard, but when you're on stage, you know, I find that you get to play a character, or, um, you get to emote in different ways without, you know, it's just different.